Hey guys, it's Dr. Sam Robbins and welcome back to the video series about hair loss and your hormones. And this is video number four and we're gonna talk about female hormones. So far what we've learned is that people losing hair are aging faster and they have lower testosterone levels, which basically means less muscle, less energy and lower sex drive. Also higher DHT levels, which means more hair loss, more body hair and more prostate problems. However, do you know what's the cause of these two hormonal imbalances? It's the increase in female hormones, primarily the estrogens and more specifically estradiol. Sadly, as estrogen levels rise, so do other female hormones such as prolactin, even progesterone in some cases. So why is this so bad and why does this happen? Well, why does it happen? Well, as estrogen, the female hormones, they all go up, it signals your HPTA system to produce less testosterone. A man's body just doesn't like high estrogen. That's more for women. And because of this, it has its own internal fixing mechanism, estrogen inhibitor, and that's DHT. Remember the hair loss hormone? This is a very important concept to understand and that 99% of people don't know it, so I will repeat it again. DHT, the hair loss hormone, is a natural estrogen inhibitor. So now you know why your DHT levels actually go up. It's to lower your high estrogen, which is the real problem. Now, I'm sure some of you guys have heard, you know, or been referred to someone as, you know, that guy's short and fat and bald and hairy, right? They seem to go together. Well, the short and fat is from higher estrogen and the bald and hairy is from higher DHT levels. And yes, genetics plays a big role here, but our environment can make things much worse and speed up all these negative interactions. So why does your estrogen go up? Well, there's lots of reasons. Unfortunately, due to modern society, there's lots of environmental and external reasons, such as the foods we eat, you know, the plastics and chemicals found in everyday stuff, e electronic devices, and so forth. Now, the good news is that a lot of this is under your control. But unfortunately, there's just so many things that are out of our control or it's just not convenient, like staying away from electronic devices. That's just not doable for most of us. Then there are internal reasons. You see, typically as men age, there's an increase in the aromatase enzyme, right? Which converts testosterone to estrogen. So estrogen rises as men get older, which explain why a man's testosterone starts to drop in his mid twenties and really falls in his forties and beyond. So aging is a big cause. Additionally, the higher your body fat, the higher your estrogen levels because your fat cells produce their own estrogen levels independently. And this turns into a negative cycle because the fatter you are, the more estrogen you produce. And the more estrogen you produce, the fatter you become. All right, so how can we lower estrogen? Well, it's actually easy since I've done it hundreds of times over the past two decades. First of all, you wanna eat more natural organic foods, less processed man-made foods. Also, you want to limit or reduce anything with plastic, such as, you know, plastic bottle waters and Tupperware use. And I know it's almost impossible to reduce electronic device usage, but one thing is to not put your cell phone, you know, near your testicles in the front pocket. And also don't put them near your laps or your uh, laptop on your lap or in your pocket or any of that stuff. Also, don't microwave your foods at all, especially in anything with plastic. Also, you want to lose body fat. Remember, fat cells produce estrogen. And you want to take natural estrogen-inhibiting herbs such as dim or curcumin and white button mushroom extract. Now, these, were, uh, these herbs work really fast and can almost be as powerful as drugs without any of the negative side effects. So in summary, in order to fix these things and age better, you want to increase your testosterone, lower your DHT, and lower your estrogen levels. Now, there's a couple other things you need to do, and I'll reveal them in the next video. However, if you're in a rush and want to know more about one of my personal favorite solutions for increasing your testosterone and decreasing your negative hormones naturally, just click the link below in the description area and you can copy the proven formula. Now, we all know how stress is really bad for your health, right? However, stress is super bad for your testosterone levels and it accelerates hair loss faster than most other hormones. In fact, in my next video, I'll reveal one of the worst causes of hair loss. Now, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any important updates and please leave your questions and comments below. 
All right, so let's continue and watch the next video about stress and hair loss.